a brother how are you doing how are you doing i'm good brother how are you i'm <coughs> fantastic brother i'm fantastic yeah, so now tell us man hey my man you're from the states there i heard a few things about you <laughs> <laughs> you're busy you're doing well man you're doing well yeah, yeah so yeah. tell us about your journey yeah um i'd like to know like where did it start man yeah where, where did it start where did it start um it's it's a journey that started back when I was a kid uh, in high school, in primary rather. I was yeah. part of the school choir. Uh, again, in high school, I was part of the school choir. Um, and then in 2010, I'm about to reveal my age now. <laughs> 2010, there was this TV show called Jam Alley. Hey, who? <laughs> <laughs> Sensei! <laughs> you know? And yeah, I won second prize. You know, there was that thing called Gem Blaster. <laughs> I won that Gem Blaster. And so, yeah, seeing yourself on TV for the first time, you know, your, your, your passion is bound to be fueled. You know, you're bound to be pumped up and, and look for, you know, greener pastures. But yeah, that's, that's where I, I, I can actually say I started pushing even harder, 2010. 2010, man. Yeah. Um, so one thing that confuses a lot of people yeah. about you is that yeah. people see you as a songwriter a yeah. singer yeah are you a producer as well i uh, know i'm not i'm not, not a producer but yet. yeah i do you know have a bit of an input on, into the sound how i want it to sound and everything you know uh but yeah i'm a songwriter i write for other artists you know yeah. and, and not even take the shine sometimes <laughs> yeah can you tell us about people that you wrote for? Ah. <laughs> Obviously, as a... As a, as a <laughs> Bukhat, Bukhat Radio, man. Ah, you sign an NDA, man. When you, when you write a big song, you okay. know, you can't disclose that this song was by me because now it's like you're taking away credits from the actual artist. So yeah. your papers are on point when it comes to working with you, right? Because <laughs> a lot of artists, they, yeah. their paperwork is not really... Yeah, man. Important. You, you got to respect, you know, the, the, the admin side of everything. I mean... Uh, we've seen a lot of people, you know, being victims to negligence in terms of the paperwork, you know. Uh, so it's important to, to, to really take care of the paperwork. It's, it's the uh, core of the business. True, yeah. true, true, true. So speaking about paperwork, yeah. I want to speak more about the yeah. renowned John yeah. Legend. <laughs> John Legend. This yeah, is the yeah. work of John Legend. <laughs> Collaboration. How yeah. did it come about? John Legend, AB Crazy. How did it come about the the collaboration with him, with the guys? You know? um, okay, so A, B, and I are both under one label, Joe's Entertainment. But yeah, John Legend put out a TikTok challenge, and I took part in the challenge. And yeah, man, you know he loved it, and we started linking up. We performed together. And whoa, then whoa, whoa, linking up. Was it <laughs> we are staying in Dota, or was it through like? No, he TikTok? actually came here. Oh, for you? <laughs> yeah, 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 legend, yeah, legend. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah and yeah we performed two nights and then we started talking to black coffee to mm. jump on the remix so the song is black coffee john legend and myself it's still not out yet though is there a reason why it's not out yet uh yeah it's always the admin side of everything obviously black coffee has his team john legend has his team i have my team you know uh, so certain things have to come to place before a song is actually released is it gonna be released? It is. That's gonna what be the released. viewers on here. It's gonna be released. It is gonna be released. Yeah. Challenge daughter. Please send me a DM <laughs> like MJ. Yeah. I got something for you guys. That's beautiful, man. That's beautiful. Yeah. And what influenced your music? When it comes to music, yeah. who influenced you? What influenced you? How did you yeah. shape your sound? Yeah. Uh, so back when I was a kid, um, I used to hang out with uh, taxi drivers. You know. <laughs> then do a little stand up array, you know, I'd wash the taxis and then, you know, in return, you know, yeah, yeah. and yeah, so, you know, most the, the, the sound that dominates the taxi industry is, is Maskandi. So I listened to a lot of Maskandi, I fell in love with the sound and it influenced the artist I became because, um, if you listen to my music and as much as it has vibey sounds and everything, but there's that maskandi thing. So it, it, it's maskandi. Maskandi is what shaped, you know, the artist that I am and the likes of the late Babu Chabu Kanyile, you know. Um, so yeah. rest in peace. Yeah, yeah. So you're, so you're from KZN? No, I'm from here. Yeah. Because I, I was surprised when you came to yeah. studio. 
Yeah. You're like, 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 They used to stay here in Joburg and then they moved back and then because I had this passion that was burning, you know, I stayed behind to try and pursue a career in this music thing. So yeah, that's how I became, you know, this Joburg kid. So speaking about Joburg kids, yeah, Joburg kids, a kid that goes to the PE to East London, yeah, and now yeah. you're nominated for yeah. the South African Awards, man. Tell us about that, the impact that it did in your life. Yeah, uh, obviously, I mean, for me. Music is just about, you know, leaving someone with something to take home. So if I get in studio, I want to revive your spirit. If not, give you hope. If not, educate a young kid. You know, so when you get these nominations and everything, it's, it's, it's a good feeling, you know. Um, it's sort of like a verification, you know, um, or validation rather that, you know. But for me, it's... I don't really care, you know, about these things because, yeah. you know, there are a lot of people who are out there doing like really great stuff who are even far better artists than we are, you know, and they're not getting these things, you know. So for me, when I get it, I'm happy, but it doesn't really validate the talent. Um, I, yeah. I'm, I'm content. I'm, I'm certain, you know, I know what my purpose is and know what the impact of my music is to the people. So for me, when I bump into people saying, bro, this particular song and that particular song took me through or got me through rather this tough situation. And because of that song, you know, I survived. That's an achievement for me. You know what I mean? Yeah. So everything else that comes with it, it's just a bonus. Yeah. So, so from what I feel is that like for you, Music yeah. is more spiritual, you know. It's not about yeah. the words that you get; it's about the impact that you do in someone's life. Yeah. Um. So yeah. tell us more about that. Like, what are you more of a spiritual person? Yeah, I am. You know, uh, because even the music, I don't write the music. You know, it just comes. You know, it's a process of meditation, and just listening to the inner child inside of me. What what the child is whispering, you know. Um, I can get in studio thirty minutes. I'm done with a song, you know. And sometimes I can't even explain it or put it to words how I did it. You know, it's it's just a spiritual process, yeah. So talking about that inner child. Yeah. So, you know, we all grew up, most of us, at Kasi. Yeah. And that inner child, yeah. that young Tandazu. Yeah. Today, what would you say to him as advice? Like, what would you give no yeah. Tandazu yeah. that's nine years old, yeah. about to face the world? Yeah. What would you say to him? Yeah, man, I'm going to tell him, you know, it's it's not impossible. However, it's not easy. And I'd love to also thank him for not giving up. Yeah, that's powerful, man. That's yeah. powerful, man. Looking good. So speaking about your, 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 your songwriting process. Yeah. Do you have any specific, specific routine, sorry, about yeah. what yeah. drives you? Yeah, like I said, um day-to-day -day experiences what you've gone through you tell me today that your wife left you because <laughs> you no longer employed i put that into a song you know you tell me that so sorry so the inspiration comes from the people what yeah it comes from the people. what you see every day yeah what i see every day what i've gone through you know so it's just about life in general you know what i mean um yeah i'm, I'm, I'm not one to try and be fancy whatsoever when it comes to music yeah. i just dwell much on like day-to-day -day living experiences so i come from a background of reality tv yeah from yeah. what you're saying that when you do music you see the daily things that happen in life yeah for me music is kind of like a reality tv but said in music because yeah. you're saying the things or saying the things through music what happens let's say ekasi, or what happens yeah. in your life or getting hurt and all that so yeah. i see it as like a reality tv yeah but you just guys make look, look more sexy <laughs> eh? <laughs> I'm too easy on the ladies, I know. Yeah, yeah. So as as twenty twenty three is coming to an end, man, um what's your learning keys? What's your highlights yeah. uh, for this year and how's your music journey going? Is there any other yeah. projects that are coming out? Yeah, uh there's so much that's coming out. Um I have a couple of um 
international collabs that are also in the pipeline. I have music that just dropped uh, featuring Obiazo and The Legacy. Um, I have songs that are coming up with Sanel Musician, um, just dropped with Metabongs and DJ Zintle. Uh, just the couple, we've just worked on something. So it's a lot of projects that are on the pipeline, but yeah. yeah I'm, I'm some of them it, still not out, or most of them still not out. So yeah, you're going to take out an EP, sorry, you're going to take out an EP or uh, an album soon? Uh, Late 2023, you know, like, in 20, <laughs> like, you know when it comes to December? Yeah. It's like, yeah. 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 like when people get married, they're playing it. Yeah. Okay, well, it's you open know, on Friday. Yes, I shot this and I'm I am getting married. That's a shot this and I'm Yeah. So that's beautiful, man, because we yeah. always need those songs. South Africa, I feel like yeah. every December we have that song. Back then it was Boma Fiki Zolo. Yeah. You I know, know, these two years of jams in December, whereby, like, when you go home, may it's 10K, may yeah. it's yeah. you feel the song, man. So. What's the project that's dropping out on Friday? This Friday. Yeah. Uh, so I actually put out a snippet on TikTok. Uh, I was just freestyling on Tamir's new song. Oh, whether, uh, rather, man, uh, Tamir's old song, uh, That's So Into You. And it started trending. And yeah, after trending, people started demanding the full version of the song. And yeah. I, re- I recorded the song, I finished it, so I, I'm, I'm about to drop it on Friday because people have been like saying, drop this thing. While about dropping this thing, is yeah. there a particular genre that you'd be like, you know, like now, piano is a wave, they call it a wave. Yeah. It's like international. We see what Tyler, we see what yeah. the guys are doing well, my party, so everyone. And yeah. a lot of people's lives are changing because of it in South Africa, you know. Yeah. There's food on the table. So is there any particular genre that'll be like, Nangenala. or you still want to explore? You know, because you erased yeah. in the Maskandi way, because we're watching more than all that. Yeah. The Kaya. So, yeah, is there something that you'll be like, Yeah. This is what I want to work on? Yeah, we're actually working on this three step by Metabongs. The uh, song we just dropped with Metabongs and Zintle is three step. It's, I feel like three step is a new sound. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. What I love about it, it's, it's, it's Afro, it's Afro, it's Afro house, you know what I mean? But just in a different way, it's just a three step go, go. Cool, but yeah, it, it's yeah, yeah. it's still you know Afro house. It gives you that black motion feel, and yeah, I'm, 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 I've just always been a fan of Afro Afro, Afro house. So yeah, I'm I'm looking forward to this three step sound. I feel like it's gonna it's be gonna, the next biggest sound. Yeah, yeah, it's gonna. Be, it's uh, I, I was watching a uh, Tagzin. Yeah, um, there was an interview as well, and I saw like how he fused the three step. Because yeah. every time he came back to South Africa, because he performs overseas, when he, every yeah. time when he came back to South Africa, he couldn't match the the, the crowd because of the piano wave yeah so he was trying to make something that sounds like my piano but also has its own originality yeah with what yeah. he loves doing so yeah. so yeah. i think three step is the way and i see a lot of guys are moving there yeah to to, to, to that sound yeah, it's the sound it's the future bro that's beautiful man anything for your fans anything that you want to tell like abasakaya who you want to yeah. thank i mean I, i'd love to thank my fans i mean um these are people who who support us when it's not even fashionable to do so you know it's people who make time you know to just listen to us expressing our emotions and everything so yeah i'm, I'm grateful and also not forgetting that it's people who put food on our tables mm-hmm. you know so yeah I, I'm, I'm really grateful for the support and i wish that they can they they continue to 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 give you know my music a chance because it's not just music we're not giving it, it a chance it's there my brother yeah <laughs> is, there's no chance that you're giving it it's there you're doing well yeah and it's all about growth you know it's all about growth yeah you're yeah. there you're there doing well man thank you yeah. for coming through that's some and you're gonna play a jam from tandas drop in this friday from Bohat Radio, it's your homeboy MJ Maponya, collaborating with 10 minutes to the star. We out.